Okay. So go back and, and, and tell me again what you were saying. Well, I remember when I was a boy, Hitler was coming into power in Germany. And uh, my dad was always interested in what was going on. We had a great big radio, I think it was a Philco. And he could tune in and get overseas broadcasts. So I was there and he, he turned it on. And Adolf Hitler was in Germany giving a speech. And my dad knew some German. And he was listening to it. And I was listening to it too. And that guy could speak. Boy, oh boy, he got everything. They were all excited. He was pissed off, and he was right. Talking to my mom, do you remember Hitler when he was on the radio? What did you think of him? Hitler? Yeah, listening to his voice. In, in, <coughs> Had a nice voice. Had a nice voice. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know it. I remember you told me that. Oh, he, <laughs> he, he did have a nice voice. A nice voice. Yes. The third king got to me. For them to move. Be down, be down. The dark and all three. Me by the feet. He was mad. He was pissed off. <laughs> the war, the second, the first world war, Germany was in it, and France, and America, and England were on the other side, but America came in and won the war. And what did they do then? They wanted the Germans to pay for the war. That was World War One. World War One. Yep. <clears throat> and Hitler didn't like that idea at all. And he got upset and he got his people excited. No! God damn it! And I heard those speeches. My dad was listening there. And my dad knew some German because his, his father and mother spoke some German. So he learned some German around the house. And he could listen and know uh, enough of what was going on. But I can remember listening to those speeches. Hitler was a speaker. But that I don't go that. I didn't. He got them all excited. He started the damn war. He got him pissed off, and they got the wrong guy pissed off. And there was no need for it. Hit, Germany didn't lose the First World War. They asked for an armistice to stop. But the English and the French and the Americans decided that he lost the war and he was going to pay for it. Hmm. He didn't cause that war. <laughs> What was the cause of World War I? Well, there's a lot of causes, but the fact is that the big cause was that they wanted to have Germany pay for the cost of World War I, and that led to World War II. There was no reason for the Germans to pay for that. Hmm. They didn't cause it. World War I was a mistake. <laughs> where everybody started attacking everybody else in, in Europe, especially the Germans. They didn't like those Germans. You know why they didn't like the Germans? Why? Because they're successful people. They're running a great country. They don't like that. Who's they? Everybody else in Europe. Hmm. They envied the Germans. And the Germans were not, and are not, the hesitant shy people. They can get pissed off. And they did. <clears throat> so
So what, when did the war, World War I, actually start? I mean, what kicked it into gear? They don't really know. What happened was a situation in 1914, 1917, got so bad, and there were these tensions between people. All of a sudden, they were going to go to war and beat up Germany. And Germany was going to beat up everybody. So they went over there, over there, over there. Send the word to be heard, over there. We'll be old, we're coming old, and we won't be back till it's over there. Was World War I a bloody war? Oh, yeah, terrible. Different than World War II? It was different and worse. My Uncle Ed Wadowski married to my Aunt Elsie, was in that war. When I was a little boy, we were on his front porch, and he started talking to me about it. He was in that war. These guys were over there, and they're out in the mud and shit, rain, people shooting at them. They're shooting other people. It was terrible. Gas. He got gassed. He but, got gassed? Yeah. By the Germans. It was a terrible, brutal, cruel, terrible thing. And he told me about it when I was a little boy. He wanted me to know, don't go to the war. And boy, I got the message. I didn't want to go to war. I could feel it, how bad it was. So you had some friends that went to World War II. I did. You had one friend who was a Boy Scout friend of yours, right? Yeah, he got killed. And I had another one. How long did he last over there, your friend who was a Boy Scout? Not long. Six weeks later, he was dead. He was too young to be going over to Germany meet those battle-hardened sons of bitches from the German army. They don't fool around. It was a terrible war. And it was worth it. Not necessary. And then the Second World War, that was not necessary either. 